What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're gonna be playing a little bit of Space Tyrant. Kind of a tactical game that this is completely blind for me. You guys know how I like to do. I like to go into these indie games completely and totally blind so that I can be surprised by things and so that I can give you my honest first reactions. But it's kind of a strategy game is the best way I know how to describe it. Strategy game in space doing all kinds of gangster space stuff. So let's go ahead and play the game. Uh, sowing galactic chaos comes so very easily to a space tyrant. Warping minds, inciting petty wars, such schemes never fail to amuse, even a life as long as the stars. Interrupting this blissful reverie bursts the Astron Ambassador with a list of absurd demands. Stop meddling with vassal empires, respect galactic order, pay your space parking tickets. The sharp blast of my disintegrator cut off his blustering speech mid-sentence. Man, you melted the hell out of that guy. That got exceedingly violent. Such insolence cannot go unpunished. Clearly, the time has come to crush the Astron Imperium. Casting my mind across the stars of the Hoplite clans, I quickly found a leader who chafed at Astron Law. Full of resentment, hate, and apparently steroids, he's going to be my first tool to shatter the Imperium. All right, so how to Tyrant. We will jump straight on in. Tyranny 101. That's good. I need a refresher course. I haven't really stretched my tyrannical legs in a little while. And frankly, I'm hoping that I can get things going. Alright, so basic navigation. We can just kind of click and drag to move around. We can zoom in and out. We can click a fleet. Alright, that seems easy enough. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Then we go to a neighboring planet. That'll move us over there and we'll get a whole bunch of Fog of War all cleared out. A fleet gets one move per turn. Click the end turn to advance. Gotcha. So there's our fleet right there. Our big evil fleet of stone hair. Alright, so you jump over to there just like it told us to do so. And there's a planet on that side. Okay, that's going to be the end of our turn. So we can't really do anything right there. We're hanging out in some asteroids. Waiting for any of these to swing on by so that we can give them a piece of our mind or maybe a piece of our fist. Let's go invade this planet over here. Mwahahaha! I am the space tyrant. Burrow down or be destroyed. Alright, so combat. In combat, your fleet is always on the left. Ships in your fleet fire automatically, but a special ability is also available if you have enough energy. Clicking on a sh uh, ship will unleash its special power. Okay, some fire instantaneously. While others require you to target a specific ship. Alright, good to know. Ships can also be clicked to repair breaches. Gotcha. Or fire again if inspired by the commander. Okay. So here is our, our little thing over here. So we got Bulwark, we've got Volley, we've got Meteor Strike. We got a bunch of stuff that we can do over on this side. It's saying to click anybody. I'm going to click this guy though. Meteor Strike! Oh, we hit that guy with a Meteor. We're firing all kinds of missiles and stuff all over the place. Yeah, fire a volley. Give them a volley. There you go. Give them, give them a nice little burst of fire right there. Give them everything that we got. And so we managed to win on that side. All oh, hail our new evil overlords. Well, they don't know I'm evil yet, but if they don't, they're going to find out really soon. End our turn. We've taken over a planet. And so now we are waiting to see what's going on. It looks like we're going to have research to do later on. We're generating a little bit of gold. Okay, do I want to just keep on, like, filing on out and just whooping on fools? I assume that's what it wants me to do. There's a lab over on this side. No, not the adorable fuzz dog. Not that kind of lab. Completely different kind of lab. This one's got research going on. This is a little tiny baby fleet. I'm not worried about these guys. They're all ready to go. Let's fire a couple of volleys right there. Let's get that going. How do I know if there's a breach that I need to fix? He's got Bulwark, and it looks like he's the one getting shot. I'm going to force them to swap targets. He's also repairing right now. Uh, what do you do? You also fire volleys? All right, everybody fire volleys. we got plenty of power to make that happen. Keep those things bursting on out. I do like the graphics of this game. It's got kind of like a Borderlands. It's almost got like a cartoon on top of 3D thing happening. I was going to call it cell shading, but I don't think that's the proper term. Oh, we leveled up. Cool, what do I get when I level up? Stonehair is now level 2. He's also got badass power armor, and he's obviously a bunny. Fleet size increased. We can have 10 ships. That's pretty sweet. Uh, okay, he hurls meteors. Do I get to level him up or anything like that? We've already invaded the lab. So fleet action, invade the planet. Invasion and exploration. Most planets have defense and must be invaded. Click to roll the invasion die. If you roll higher than their defense, you win. Okay, so there's our invasion dice right there. A little bit of dice rolling. Planets are automatically explored after capture. 
And so we get events, it looks like, that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. Exploration yields many bonuses, but I bet bad things can happen too, right? Bad things are going to happen and dangers. Yep, I knew we weren't going to get anything for free. We we're going to have to do this the hard way. All right, well, never mind. I'm going to invade your planet, son. Click to invade. Let's do it. We rolled a six, so we got six damage. We've knocked out their blockade, and now we have access to a lab. We're going to go ahead and explore it. Among the strange and varied experiments on this station, you come across a grotesque predator locked in a cage. What will you do with it? Keep it as a pet. The predator grudgingly accepts a collar and you bring it aboard the ship. Its presence by your side will surely be valuable in the future. So now we've got a pet trait. Pretty cool. How do I check and see what my traits are? Do I have a place around here that I can do that? Ah, there we go. So the pet trait. We have acquired traits are only available during a campaign. Oh, maybe it's just because it's showing me how to do stuff right now. I already invaded that planet. Let's go ahead and bypass our turn. Hopefully our ships get fixed up at the end of each of our turns. I don't know that for sure, but we got some breakthrough stuff right there. Let's take these guys, and we are going to go inside of this gold mine, and we are going to make it ours. Tonight we dine in space hell, which weirdly enough is cold. It's not hot like earth hell. Completely different set of hellish attributes. Eh, let's go ahead and fire off a couple of volleys right there. We are taking a little bit of damage. These guys are pretty mean. These guys are being mean to me. How could they? You guys are wasting your shots on him. You should stop doing that. Let's go ahead and unload the best we can with all of these guys right here. We'll burn straight through that heal, and that is another enemy that has gotten themselves whapped. Whapped. Just whapped like crazy. Let's invade this thing. I want to see what they have going on. Roll my space die. We got four, and we have busted through their blockade. There's definitely an aspect of board gaming in here. You've taken your first steps of invading the galaxy. Hooray for us! We've left a wake of shrapnel behind us. Be careful about that. We want to have denizens in our universe, but we don't want them to have, like, scuffed shins. You know what I mean? They got scuffed shins. That's no funsies. I don't want them to have those. Their shins must be intact so that they can work harder without pain impeding their decision-making processes. Alright, processing our turn. Income and the shipyard. Planets you control will produce credits, research, or crystals each turn. Okay. Credits are used to buy ships from the shipyard. Good stuff. To access the shipyard, select your fleet and click the shipyard button. Alright. And then we can look at our fleet right there. Smith. Oh, okay. Click and drag the ships to bring them on in. And I assume that you can drag them out to get rid of them. They get put into your surplus. Okay. I assume our fleet is going to kind of like expand as we get further and further along. Like what they gave us right there was probably that good stuff. And now we actually got to start the game out the way that it'll probably start out. All right. So over here, we have a fleet. We can go to the shipyard. We have a bunch of little ships right now. We could probably... We've got destroyers and cruisers. So we've got missiles that are weak versus shields. These guys have blasters. I'll probably get rid of some of these, like, little dudes right here. And you know, we got two surplus right there. If I can get, like, a carrier... Oh, that'd be so legit. They got boarding parties. We got space marines. What? I'm gonna put you over there in the formation. And then I'm gonna get... Oh, I don't have enough money for another cruiser? No! Sell my surplus. Yep, sell my surplus. It's okay. I want to have two cruisers. So now our bunny ships are all nice and loaded up. We will go back to this main area right here, and we need to go to space jail. Normally, you're forced to go to space jail. We're choosing to go to space jail so that we can upgrade our forces a little bit. I bet criminals would love to join us. Click to begin. Uh, we have no energy right now. I'll probably call in a meteor strike before I do anything else. Took a little bit of damage right there. A little bit of damage right there. That's okay, though. Three energy all ready to go. Meteor strike is out, and that did a considerable quantity of damage which got rid of that enemy. I'm going to use Bulwark to get him on this and healed up. They have no shields, so they should die pretty rapidly. Their ship is made out of rust and what looks like boogers. So I don't think it's going to hold up the blaster fire very well. I really sincerely doubt it. Nothing tops the Megaton Punch. Aw, yes. Let's go ahead and invade. We need a two on this dice. We got a three. Good stuff. I was a little bit worried we weren't going to succeed right there. I was a little bit terrified. While exploring, we find nothing. A big old crop of doo-doo nothing. So I have two fleets now. What do I want to do with these fleets? I don't know. I'll probably wait a turn. There's not a whole lot I can do anyways. Like, yeah, I could move this guy around and do my thing. How do I fix my ships? I thought they were healing after combat, but I guess not. I guess I learned that the hard way. Can I have them join up with that fleet so we can have one big fleet? What are these? Crystals? Hoplite clans. So crystals, power cards. They regenerate every single turn. I'm going to bypass a turn real fast so that I got my full fleet up and ready to go. Did any of these guys get healed? Space Tyrant. So we got Tachyon Torpedoes. Cards and Crystals. Cards are fueled by crystals. Yes, we figured that out already by mousing over a thing. 
To play the card, hover on the one you want and then click on it. Some cards are played instantaneously, and then others require you to target a planet or fleet. So we can do personnel transfers. The more crystal worlds you control, the more cards you can play on your turn. Okay, sounds like good stuff. What do I have? Destroy two enemy ships. So technically, I could click on that right there and then be like, BOW! And wipe those dudes out entirely so that I can just like easy peasy invade. However, I am a little bit worried that that deprived us of our ability to get XP. You might not want to do that too much. We roll a six, and so we've conquered another planet. Victory for us, because we are the bunny overlords. Exploring real fast. Unable to see your obvious greatness, the people of this world resent the new overlord. How will you bring them into line? Use propaganda. Weaving a mesmerizing web of half-truths and distortions, the populace comes to realize that the true majesty of your empire cannot be contained. Recruitment offices can't keep up with the flood of new officers. Oh, we got three frigates. Yay! I can either sell those, or I can just, like, hold on to them and do my thing. I'll probably use those to, uh, no, do not recycle those. Absolutely do not recycle those. Can I just keep them in reserve for a while? All ships must be placed to recycle before exiting the shipyard. Mm, that kind of sucketh. So I've got three frigates in surplus right now. Bummer. Like, maybe I'll have... I'll, I'll diversify a little bit. There we go. We played around with that lackluster set of scores over there. Maybe I'll bring my other fleet around, too. So, you guys, you've got a shipyard. I need you to pick up a few more shooters. Looks good to me. we got enough money left over that I'm not that upset about the way things are happening. We can invade some crystals over there. I don't have any cards right now, so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to do much. I can conscript a new leader from my militia for 300 coins. I don't have 300 coins. I'm kind of broke right now. So I don't think that's going to help out very much. We are, however, going to clash with Scrunto. Which, I don't know if that's a... That sounds like an insult. You call somebody a Scrunto. That sounds like a bad word in the Star Wars lexicon. Uh, you guys do your thing. I'm going to put Bulwark on him since he's being shot anyways. Got a couple of bullets that missed right there. So apparently there's a chance that we'll miss when we fire. Interestingly enough, wow, he just lasered the hell out of me. All right, unload with some volleys. Get rid of whatever's happening here. I don't want to wait this out to find out how bad it's going to be if I don't fix it. And so our guy has gotten leveled up ever so slightly. He's got some XP anyways. We'll invade these crystals, and we'll get five right there. So we've got a new crystal mine. Hooray for us. We are the champions. Sensors have indicated a strange echo deep in the crushing depths of a gas giant. Attempting to enter with normal ships would be pretty risky. Ah, uh, dive anyway? The fleet manages to salvage the object causing the echo. It turns out to be some kind of alien children's toy. $22 right there. Okay, not the best thing we could have pulled out, but I'll take it. Uh, he can deflect damage with his special ability. This fleet right here... This is a fortified asteroid. It's cold and lonely as space itself. Asteroids have no value beyond their location. Did I already use them for something? Maybe I did. My turn's over. Yeah, I thought they still had a move, but I guess I was wrong. I gotta, I gotta look at things a little bit more. Uh, we got a new card right there. Reserve tank. Allow a spent fleet to move again. Oh, that'd be pretty sexy. It's a nice thing to have, but I'm pretty sure this might be the end of our invasion trail. I don't know, though. We will never be defeated. I, I'm willing to bet you something very differently that you will, because this is tutorial, and I'm pretty sure tutorial just allows me to murder you freely. Ow! My friggies! My friggies are taking damages right now! Oh, no, friggy! That was my favoriteest friggy, and it's being shot down. No! Friggleberry Frank! You were my favorite frigate! How could the universe do such a harsh and cruel thing? It took Friggleberry Frank from me. The best friggy pilot there ever was. Stonehair is now level 2. Our fleet size has gone up. I'm going to play reserve tank on him to allow him to move back to his shipyard. And we are going to use some of this $187 to get ourselves... Ooh, we got a carrier? Yeah, do the carrier. I want a carrier. We'll put like a frigate in there just to diversify a little bit. Or I'm sorry, a destroyer. I don't know what the best things to have in front are. So those have more health. So we definitely want those in front if we can help it. I don't know if they have to fire at the front line. But I bet it's something like that. Those guys have already moved, so they're done. Let's go ahead and leapfrog this guy up to here. And we'll decide what we want to do next. Invade it. That's going to take a 5 or a 6. 3 damage. So we've we've hurt it a little bit. Not as much as I would have liked to. But it does. it's nice to see that there's not complete and total luck going into that. Like you do whittle it down over time. The Empire has completed enough research to select a new technology. Wide bays. 
So we can get an extra fighter or we can get a plasma furnace. Uh, I like carriers. I'm a big carrier player. Anything that allows me to have like an aircraft carrier or like a ship carrier like the Protoss, I tend to play that thing because I like it a lot. We got an orbital strike. Yeah, go ahead and orbital strike that thing. It's done. Exploration is done by default. As you review some asteroids, you find a glimmer of valuable minerals. Having no time to waste, you must extract the minerals fast or not at all. Blast them! Your weapons shatter the asteroids and you collect some floating materials. 38 gold acquired right there. Not bad at all. In fact, since they can't really do anything right now anyways, go ahead and surplus him. Put another frigate in front and we'll just sell that for the surplus. We'll go back over here. You guys transfer over to this side. I don't know how bad this is going to be over here. Chlorophyll. Um, yeah, I guess I can throw my doo-doo squadron at him and just kind of see what happens. Like, I don't know how big this fleet is going to be, but I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit larger. Yeah, that's kind of bad. I mean, that wasn't entirely what I... I, I thought this was pretty much going to happen. It's less than satisfactory. Go ahead and launch a meteorite. Yeah, put a geo shield on him right there. Perfect. Make sure he doesn't take any more damage. I don't know if the geo shield protects me from laser beams. I might be wrong here. Everybody fire a volley and kill everything that you can. He's trying to heal, but he's not going to be saved in time. He want to be saved. It ain't going to save him. Want to be saved. They want to be saved. I like the way that you actually lose ships through attrition, though. A lot of games allow you to just hoard ships throughout the cause, and, like, I like how you lose ships every now and again. Uh, so you have to actually spend money to replace them. I like that as a feature. Let's go ahead and invade this place because it's pretty much done. Why do they have like a, a weird cube over the top of their planet? Is it like a launch dock or something? That's weird. I'm ready for a real challenge, apparently, the game says. I like what we got going on right now, so I want to see what else they got happening. If you can't find any prisons, you can buy militia elsewhere. Choose your empire. We can be the Hoplites. We can be the Berserk. Or we can be the Techno Slug Party. Well, we gotta go with the bunnies. Look how badass he looks! He's got like a Bucky O'Hare thing going on right there. I had to sit there, I had to make a cut so that I could think about it for a minute. So I could think about what the name of it was. Let's go! Let's start a new colony as the Hoplite Clan. So our perks. Let's see here. We will start out in the burrowed fields, I think. What are our perks? We don't have any? Oh, we gotta complete missions to get more of them. Gotcha. Uh, stone hair is gonna be oh we can have our mission loadout yeah let's do that I don't need to know about loadouts I know what's going on so we've got a tattered cloak our energy charge is faster we've got a crumbling scepter we've got a crumbling crown all right our hoplite deck it doesn't look like we can play around with that just yet and we get scientific detachment earn research equal to 25% of the Empire's unrest group hug I can heal adjacent ships for 150 not bad we gotta hug it out every now and again just gotta hug it out Let's rock this thing. We're gonna rock down to the Bunnies Avenue. And then we'll take it higher. This game actually has really good production values. I'm surprised by it. Like, from the screenshots I saw, it just looked like kind of a weird board game. But actually, it's got really good production values. You should definitely check it out down in the description. I'm impressed so far. Tyranny is the strength of a space tyrant's control. Gain tyranny by capturing planets, destroying ships, and exploring. Okay, makes sense. Unrest is the opposition to your control. It consumes tyranny every single turn. If tyranny runs out, populations rebel. Okay, and you will lose. Like, automatically? That's a little horrifying. All right, I'll keep that in mind then. Uh, at our shipyard, we can hire over here. We need 300 for a new leader. I think it's a good idea for us to... Let's grab these crystals over on the rim. Should be easy enough. We'll invade that crystal mine right there. It only takes us a 1 to knock that thing apart, and so basically there was no fail criteria right there. Also gives us a gold mine on the other side. Nothing was discovered. Do I have anything? Add two frigates to a fleet. How big is our fleet right now? Actually, we can get two more frigates. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to play... I'm going to play Strike Patrol. So put Strike Patrol right there. That's going to bolster up, and we will add these two frigates to the front line of our attack force. I also really like the music. The music's pretty cool. Uh, I think that's going to be the end of our turn, so let's just wait it on out. We got access to a little bit of crystal right there, so I think we're going to end up getting some goodies. Uh, we have no unrest right now as far as I know. 
Let's go ahead and swing on out to this location. I don't think this little fleet right here is going to be a big problem for us. I pity the fool that fights me. He told me to get off his lawn. Tactical system has been unlocked. Start by selecting a tactic. Make ship invulnerable. Okay, can be used at any time during combat. Just click the chosen tactic to trigger that tactic, and then you'll be good to go. So we have reinforcements. Summon temporary frigates for three turns if there's room. We can dogfight. Our fighters are 50% stronger. I don't think I have any carriers right now. Invasive program ship fire rate is reduced by 50%. That's my stuff. Go ahead and open up nice and early with it. I'm okay with that. Wow, they are giving it to us nice and heavy right now. I am surprised by how heavily they're going after us. Uh, we've got a breach over here. I sealed the breach. Fire a meteor at the bigger ship. Well, we killed him, but the meteor didn't go off. We lost a frigate right there, though. It does look like they're up in the ante in this part. We captured a planet, so we get ten more tyranny. Uh, this guy over here, a little bit messed up. Exploring to ingratiate themselves, the leader of this world presents you with a coveted Andromedan courtesan. Renowned for their abilities as companions and lovers, it makes for a very tempting offer. Yeah, I accept her. That's fine. Uh, I'm not going to turn down a free hooker. I mean, you take the courtesan on as a mate and are well pleased with the results. Clearly, the skills of the Andromedans are all they claim to be. Uh, we got a reward. We seduced a senator. Oh, we can seduce a senator, so that'll lower our unrest. Nice. Uh, we got to discard a card here. Reveal a planet and its neighbors. Add erratic to a crystal world. Let's go ahead and throw that out. Ah, I got to drag and drop it. Gotcha. Uh, I'll discard that because I don't know what it does, and I don't know if that's going to be helpful. Over here, we don't really have much else going on. That lab right there is pretty much unattacked. Like, does it have a little fleet? It does. It has, like, a little tiny baby fleet over there. That's a big fleet right there, so... Oh, there's a shipyard. Yay. Well, maybe I'll fix some of my boo-boos here. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll take a frigate. We'll sprint on out. I'm going to go with reserve tanks on them. And we are going to sprint out to this location to see if we can take their stuff. That looks like a little tiny fleet right there. This is also going to give us an opportunity to level up, which I think is a really, really good come up. That fleet does not look that strong to me. Uh, let's go with summons a temporary free frigate. Nah, let's go ahead and we'll just go with firing programs. So open up on that one right there, please. Wait, is that on my ship? Or is that on... Can I put them on enemy stuff? Why would I give my buffs to the enemy? I'm a little worried about this. I think I'm giving buffs to the enemy right now. I thought they were firing double fast on that individual. I've been messing up. I've been doing dumb stuff here. I gotta, I gotta think about my strategy a little bit better. Put up Bulwark. That'll help you get a little bit of your energy back. And that guy has been laid low. Goodbye. Little tactical mistakes right there. I didn't think it would let me drag and drop my own buffs onto the enemy. Stonehair is level 2. He's now got a 10-man fleet. We'll invade right here. And then we'll focus on expanding that fleet about as soon as possible. We invaded it on the first turn. Hoorah! Good stuff. Uh, we got a little bit more tyranny right there and product exploration. Garrett, the Pirate King, has been raiding the system for some time, causing serious damage to the local trade. Treating you with respect due to a fellow monarch, he responds to your request for parlay. I will compliment him on his gun hand. Garrett instantly becomes defensive and irate, building into a crescendo of anger and reproach at your comment. Whatever his reason, he cannot be spoken to like that. He must die. Oh, man, I got to fight again? Oh, no. Oh, his fleet's kind of scary. Yeah, let me get temporary frigates here. I need a temporary frigate, and I need them, like, right now. Go ahead and open up with a volley. Like, give them what we got, because we're getting chewed up right now. Not, like, super badly, but we're getting chewed up bad enough. So a little bit of gunfire out right there. These guys aren't ready to volley. Let's go ahead and give them a meteor strike. Boom, there goes that carrier right there. This guy's trying to heal ever so desperately, and he looks like he shocked up one of my ships, too. Ooh, that guy got inspired. I think that means he gets his special ability back. Hopefully that finishes him off right there. Our fleet's looking a little bit scuffed up right now. Our fleet has definitely had a shinier paint job. Uh, let's shipyard up. We gotta spend some money here. So I will put in... Good sweet lord, we are just messed up right now. Give me a couple of frigates. Death Ray. Use 15 to destroy 1 to 3 ships. I mean, I kind of feel like that's a waste, though. We've got, like, domination over everything right now. We're starting to get unrest, though. So we're going to have to work on that pretty soon. Allies of the Senate. 
Terrified planets will often join the local senate to defend against you. Once joined, these planets will launch projects to undermine your advance. Okay, that makes sense. Disrupt these projects by capturing their worlds whenever possible. Alright, got a little bit of a modifier to our gameplay right there though, but I like this game so far. This is pretty sweet. We got plus four research, which means we're ready to go on our research tree. Uh, we can make our carriers better, or we can have better plasma furnaces on our ships. Let's go ahead and do that. We aren't making enough money right now to really make me feel like we're going to make progress anytime soon. I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice a whole bunch of little ships to make this work. We've got another laboratory over there, or we can invade this place. They've got a pretty big... I'm going to play that card to get rid of some of our unrest. Plus 15 credits a turn. Yeah, we need that. We need that pretty badly. I'm going to go ahead and take that. I don't have any extra fleets right now to play around with, so... My estimate would be just like, keep on keeping on. Let's just keep going forward. This looks like a prison planet, so we might be able to get something good out of here. Uh, we might get ourselves a second commander that'll help out. So launch three fighters for energy. Ship fire rate reduced by 50. 400 attack or the ship explodes. Let's go ahead and I'm going to play that on... I think it's nerfing his attack speed. I don't know. I got to read the cards better. I'm bad at video games. Our fleet's getting large enough now that we're like overwhelming them with force. And I am okay with that. Fire your final volleys over to there. We'll finish that off. We kept our frigate up and running without losing it. Good stuff. I have regrets. I bet you do. I bet you do. Don't mess with the champ. We're over here just busting up the galaxy because we can. Because it interests us. Because it entertains us. We bust up the galaxy. That's just how we ride. Go ahead and turn this thing on over. We can't use our death ray anymore. Am disappoint. But this is Space Tyrant. If you want to get the game for yourself, you can get it down below in the description. If you wanted to support me, all you got to do is give this video a like. Or if you wanted to go a little further, you can check out the Patreon and you can support it through there. I'm also live every single day on Twitch TV slash Splattercat Gaming at 3 o'clock Pacific time in the afternoon. I would love to have you if you wanted to swing on through. And then aside from that, I got nothing else for you. Hi to everybody and I'll see you next time. I think I might do another episode of this. I like it a lot.